Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Hope everyone's doing well on this Friday. And our, our power is back up, which I'm very grateful for. It happened uh, late afternoon, around supper time yesterday. So yay for power. And uh, anyway, I'm having some quiet time this morning in my glue book. And it's also a time for Friday's free flow. <laughs> Just wanted to get up here and do this. I've already had my coffee. I haven't had breakfast yet, but that's okay. There's lots of time for that. So what am I going to do in my glue book this morning or today? I'm not sure. This is why it's called free flow because I'm just going to take it as it comes. I'm going to move over a wee bit and then you can see the pile that's beside me here. Well, maybe you can see the corners of the pile. And what did I do since the last time? Oh, I added this. Uh, I'm not sure if you, if I even showed it, but I had this clothing tag cord that was hanging around. So I put my tag that I made from my scrapbook storage um, and I did some journaling and I added it to the page here on the A's. So my A's are finished and I have I have done some journaling in here and um, I'll put an apple a day keeps the doctor away which I have to agree with that. So I'm just going to flip through here a little bit and see where I can add some some things to my page. Oh, yes, so this little gem that I have in my hands, <laughs> this was made with literally the pages that I was using like this just to glue onto and I cut little elements off of them to put in my in my uh, my journals and pages and whatnot. And this is what it, it came to, just a big pile of pages and off cuts and I took it to my sewing machine, did some squirrely, squirrely, swirly stitching and now I have this packet and I will use this because it's just fun and squishy and I can actually put something in here and use it as a, as a tuck spot too. And it has, I'm, I'll use it this way, it has some old... Um, advertising from my vintage magazine. Here's a cat <laughs> that I cut out and it was just hanging around. So I'll put this over here somewhere. Oh, I think I'll do that. I'll put her right there. This is from the vintage magazine. That is wrapped up into this packet here too. So that's... I just decided to, to do that when I saw that pile of papers. I was going to just throw them in the recycle bin and then I literally had them in my hand like this and I thought, wow, I think I'll just sew that together. And yeah, it doesn't look like anything, but it's kind of fun. There. All right, I'm back in my vintage, my vintage magazine, and I am using this, I'm going for this word choose. I'm looking for items that I can fill up my C's, but I will use words. Oh, and I also found this one, contact C, contact, remember that? I don't even know if they still make that. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to go through this really, I say quickly, let me see. Taster's Choice Coffee. Oh, coffee. Do I have anything in here for coffee? See if that fits. 
I'll end up having another little packet to sew because I'm going to uh, <laughs> see what that looks like. Kind of makes me laugh because it's just so fun. Let's see here. What else do I have? Some fun things to cut out that I can farm. I like this scene here. That'll be fun. Cake. Ooh, a nice cake. I can use that. I think that'll fit on the page. Let's take a look after. Cape. Oh. Yeah. Maybe this one, the red cape. Let me take her out. Campbell's soup. <laughs> that might be one. I think I'll do that. Macaroni and cheese. Well, we still have that, don't we? Okay, well, let me take a look here at these things that I have. Contact. Okay, I'm going to put that on. I need a I need that. I am going to use the word choose. I like that word. And I'm going to put that one. Let's go up here. Choose cozy. Yeah, let's do that. Choose whatever you like. <laughs> Campbell's. All right. Let me cut that a little bit better. I will put the cape over here. I'll do it on this side to fill this page up. Okay, the cape is right beside the, cas um, the castle. The lady in red. Remember that song? And now we have a cake. Let's do the cake. What's your favorite cake, everyone? <laughs> mine? Anything to do with chocolate is mine, but my absolute favorite cake and the one that I grew up with when it came to celebrating my birthday and uh, was the Black Forest cake. And oh my, my, that used to be my traditional, that was the cake that I received when it was my birthday. And I love that cake, Black Forest. Oh, um, now we're on to coffee. Let's see, I'll put this whole, I think I'll put the coffee cup also. Just a little fussy cut here. Actually, that would be good here, wouldn't it? Coffee with cake. All right, that didn't take long to figure that one out. Well, it's so nice and quiet with the generator off here on the hillside. And um, I did hear some birds this morning, but the sun seems to have shifted behind the clouds. Here's the word coffee. I think I will still use this one. Let's see if I can, I can put that up there. I think I will. Okay, I have 
up. Is that it? Have I caught up? I think I have. Oh, that might have to do it, which is fine with me. I don't have the D's done here, but I can still find other things. I just saw it. Cool. I'll use that up here. some cheese. I will put that on there. I was going to put this in my pile to quilt on, sew on, whatever, and I'm now I'm going to cut out the little record albums. So Chicago, I have lots, I had lots of, um, records from them and we have well Joe Cocker but I'm not going to put him on there um let me see who oh share I gotta have that that was a record that I had too half breed I got that one from my aunt who was only what 12 years older than me so she used to babysit me and we used to I, I know a lot of the songs from the early 70s that I was too young to to know or to listen to but because of my aunts and uncles being close in age to me my mom's brothers and sisters some of them and uh, that's how I learned a lot of songs plus we had the radio on all the time and my mom was only 21 years older so there was a lot of influence there. Let me see here. Barbara. Some of these people I do not know. Carpenters, yeah. I'm just gonna cut this off here. Let's see who else do we have. Cat Stevens, oh yeah. Oh, still listen to his, his music. Timeless, in my, that's my opinion. Well, music is timeless, isn't it? Isn't that an influence? Everything, I always say this, and people that know me, everything's a song. Carly Simon, I never had any of her records, but a lot of her songs are in my, in my memory. So as you can see, I'm going with either the first name or the last name or the name of the group. And I think that's it. So that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. That'll be it. Whoops. That'll be it for that. And that'll fill up a lot of these little areas. Cat Stevens, I should make sure I got the right. Where did all they, where did they go? Here they are. Carly. It's kind of dark right now. It's still early in the morning though and the sun hasn't completely, well, it's, it's risen, but it's behind clouds. Cher. I used to watch Sunny and Cher. As a family, we used to watch it. Great memories. Yeah, family TV. Wow, we watched <laughs> the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner Hour. That was a, a treat. The Wonderful World of Disney. The, whatever the movie was, we watched that as a family too on Sundays. Remember that. 
Now this one here, should I put Chicago here or over here? I think I'll put it right here. I think that's, oh, I have one more to glue on and the carpenters, okay. Wow, that was fun. Where are the carpenters gonna go? Over here. Actually right here where the page is cracked. Okay, wow, that's great. It just dawned on me that my former business that I had started when, uh, what years ago, it was called Curled Caravan. And I went to people's homes and I have still have cards from my old business. Now I'm trying to come up with a way that I can, without gluing this down, this is actually, this is all, again, free, this is free flow, Friday's free flow. It's so funny how this happens, this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got my cash register tape. I have my business cards and I'm going to use this page. It's just fun figuring out how it's all going to look and how it's going to work. That's part of the adventure, not knowing because I don't plan anything. <laughs> That's on the bottom, that's fine. Okay, so that's on the bottom like that. And with a little help from my D here, this here wants to fold like that, but now I'm gonna have to make a new fold which is fine also. Oh, I think I've just, I just discovered how I'm going to do this. So what I'll do is I'm going to use, I'm gonna use these as journaling cards and I will put one in here like that. Okay, so now I have to glue the bottom here. So that's a tip if you have business cards, whether they're your own or somebody else's, that's a great way to keep them as journaling cards. The only ones I don't have anymore are the, the business that I retired from, my sticks and bricks business, my salon. I wish I had some of those left, but I don't. That's all right. Actually, I have one that was in my mom's. Oh, that's that's bringing memories. My mom's wallet. Of course, I have that. And I think it's in one of my journal spreads. Okay, that's great. All right, look at this. Where did that other one go? There's a spot I can journal on here. Here's a spot. Like that. Well, there we are. Thank you everyone for coming along today in Friday's Free Flow. I appreciate everyone. I hope you have a great relaxing day. It's the beginning of the day. Enjoy yourself. Have a great long weekend. Happy Good Friday. It's a very special day. And I just want to thank everyone and be grateful for everything. Stay adventurous and cozy. Bye for now.